the people which you'll see in Kyoto are going to wear a different kind of kimono than something you'll see in Edo, or in Tokyo, in other words. And uh, my grandmother was an Edoko, so she was born in the Yamanote area of, of Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And she was, uh, she, every, so all of her kimonos and the styles that she would wear are something which would be Edo, Edo shiki. Mm -hmm. The way that she would uh, loosen her collar or the way that she would um, put one color with the next. And Edo tends to be much more natural colors. So you lot have a lot of browns and reds and greens and things like that, which you'd see in nature. But one of the interesting things is to be able to put two patterns which are basically juxtapositioning juxt against each other. Mm -hmm. You'll see a lot of that in the Edo kind of style. You'll see like a, a cross hatch with... Um, you know, stripes and, uh, and what do you call it, plaids, which you would never do in America, mm -hmm. but you would do this with Japanese kind of colors.